accents. Okay. Walk me through what this accent scenario is. We're in Australia. Yep. The green place where Furiosa comes from, the people there are Australian. Why is Furiosa American? In Fury Road... Furiosa is introduced. She's American. She's played by Charlize Theron. And at the time when it came out, George Miller said, well, in the apocalypse, people would have migrated. and, and To and the so, outback. To the outback. Naturally. People would have... Yeah, people would have gone to the Australian outback yeah, in the yeah. middle of the, the apocalypse. <laughs> Where do I want to be? Some Americans Sweet. would have gone over to the Australian outback. And this is where I'm going to set yeah. up shop. California, you say it's uninhabitable. Yeah. Let's go to the Australian <laughs> outback. <laughs> Someone from New England is thinking, you know what? I could never I like sustain the life. <laughs> yeah. So Furious is an American accent. It's not really explained. Migrated. But the the decision was that accents don't matter in the Australian outback. Yeah. Ten years after there's been an apocalypse. <laughs> when there's been a fight over a lack of gasoline, everyone's kind of migrated across the planet for literally no reason at all. So, so this, this happens, right? But then you watch Furiosa and she's from this green place where they have Australian accents. And then she ended up, from the age of 10, say, yeah. she grew up with Dementus, who's as Australian as they come. Yeah, yeah. Immortal Joe, all his team are Australian. Is there and an her excuse? accent is Amer- American. So is there an excuse that we can come up with that we could buy? You could argue that maybe there was some way that she was consuming media within the universe that happened to have American accents or something. But even that's a stretch if she grew up with... In Fury Road, they're trying to get to the green place. As as we discussed, uh, and then they do actually get there, and it turns out that the soil went bad and the water turned poisonous and stuff. So there isn't a green place anymore. Right. So she ends up going back and realizing, oh, it's it's gone. She basically runs into all of the the remaining people who are alive there, and they're they're living as scavengers, and they're all Aussie. Okay. They're like, oh, good to see you, Furiosa. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not just Aussie. They're like the most Aussie Bogan. people. They're the most Aussie people you've ever met. And then I'm just like, how did she? Okay, fair Where enough. She... Maybe her mum was American. But even then, everyone else she's lived with past the age of 10 has been Australian. Yeah, okay. It's just going to be an audience. It's just going to be a target market thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, this is I make the good protagonist make them as relatable as possible. And we've got a history of bad accents in Mad Max. I mean, Tom Hardy, I, I actually saw an interview with him before he was going to do Mad Max. He'd been cast and he was like, I, I can't do an Australian accent. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he like mentioned it. And so what they did, when Fury Road came out originally, he, people were like, God, he doesn't have much lines. I was like, it's because he's not doing an accent like at right. all. He speaks very low to try and hide it. But it is like... Very obviously like, a... My name is Max. Oh, I'm out here in the de- the wasteland, and it's so it's so grumbly. You're like, maybe he's got a slight Aussie inflection, but okay. You got Mel Gibson. Who- you got to respect that. Say in comparison to Furiosa, where they did nothing to hide the accent no, whatsoever, apart least- from just give her no lines. Yeah. So accents, I didn't understand. Uh, Mad Max generally, Tom Hardy's are pretty bad, but I don't think there was a suitable explanation for why she was. American. I don't think that we were even capable of coming up with an in-universe one either. If, don't there, think we were if, close. if the cause of the fallout was because of a lack of gasoline, but the reason that people have unexplained mixed accents is because everyone migrated. <laughs> Yeah. Not only is that like not great at explaining it, it's actually completely directly contradicting the whole premise of the series. And he also had like... He's flying to the Australian outback. He has one, I think they're in Fury Road, he's got people who speak a different language now. Like okay. in the outback, they okay. speak a different language. Interesting. And this was part of the thing that I read where it was like, yeah, of course you'd have different accents. I mean, you even have people who've made different languages. And you're like, it's been like... yeah. Max 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> and that they seems would... inconceivable because Mad Max is like 35 or something. And they wouldn't just recreate the American <laughs> accent with like <laughs> single individuals. <laughs> like, fine, yeah, maybe some areas develop a dialect that kind of ends up becoming a language and an accent. 
fine, right? But that's not the same as saying then that Furiosa just happens to also have picked up an American accent from literally nobody else in the no film. One. No one in the world. No one in this planet, <laughs> no. which apparently has no oceans. <laughs> no oceans. This is just, it's just the outback. <laughs> it's also, one, so, one, so, one more thing, which isn't to do with this, but it's to do with <laughs> Fury Road, which I hated. <laughs> is the- <laughs> at one point, right? So they get to the green place, which isn't green anymore because yeah, it's yeah. dead. And they're all like, oh, fuck, well, what would we do? I guess we just load up these bikes and go in that direction and, and we, we ride until we get to a point where hopefully we get to the coast. So they know that there's a coast and like, okay. hopefully we do it. If we go, if we just head straight in that direction. <laughs> and then she goes, we've got 160 days worth of ride in fuel. Okay. That seems like enough. For riding. Dr- driving a motorcycle. Not walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got yeah. 160 days worth. That seems like enough. And then they start to go on their journey. Mad Max goes, oh, no. And he drives, he stops up and said, look, we both know what's going to happen. Well, he says it in an English accent. We both know what's going to happen. If you keep <laughs> going over in that way, you could drive for 160 days and we know you're still going to see salt. And I was like, no, they won't. No, they won't. <laughs> 160 days ago, like 60 100. miles an hour. I feel like you can cross the planet. That's 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 so far. 100. He, this, by the way, Max is someone who used to live on the coast. <laughs> he was a cop. How the hell did you get here? What? Is that why he's mad? Because he's, he's completely <laughs> lost no the Understanding of distance. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a good little little segment. If you're still here, like and subscribe. Yep. Um, should we move on to our final segment, or do you have anything else you want to? Uh, I've got some stuff. Here.